Welcome back to my channel. I'm starting off with breakfast. I just finished the rest of my oats and added a little bit of hemp hearts. There was literally less than half of a cup, but the main attraction of my breakfast was this amazing mango. It was so juicy and stringy and satisfying. Holy cow, mangoes are definitely my favorite fruit. So I had that for breakfast. And then for lunch, I had wraps. These are my go-to healthy lunches. I have like two to three of these a day, especially when I'm working a lot and on the go. I added some avocado and some pepper, spring mix, just like a shit ton. And then I added some sprouts and cucumbers and green peppers. You can really go to town on this, add whatever you want, add hummus, add balsamic vinegar, like literally anything that you want. And um, that's why I love it. I love any meal that you can really stuff vegetables in and this is definitely my go-to. And it's also really easy to eat. I also made some baked broccolis on the side. You can drizzle some olive oil on top of those if you want, but I just did it without oil. And I added some garlic powder and nutritional yeast and just a little bit of hummus for dipping. Another version of this, you can just make it on a sandwich, which is another thing that I do. This I had like the next day for breakfast. And once again, just add a bunch of greens. And I just like to eat the two breads separately for some reason. But yeah, back to the day that I was filming this, I went to the gym and did a glute workout. I'm not really gonna talk through this because I was just following some workouts that my trainer friend told me to do and Abby Pollock's video on building your glutes. Basically, glute isolating exercises that will help you get a bigger butt without getting big thighs. So I'll link her video down below and then you can just see the other ones that my trainer friend Jake taught me. These are squats with a TRX band. Leaning back on it makes your butt do most of the work and your quads aren't really working too hard, I guess. I don't know how to explain it. Um, and then I did some squats onto this little block thing. You always wanna like squeeze at the top whenever you're doing any kind of squat to really get the full motion in. And I honestly love doing these. I forget what they're called, but they're just so fun. You wanna keep your weight on your heels, squeeze at the top, put your butt back first, and then drop the weight down. Yeah, super fun stuff here. <laughs> I honestly love working out. It's been very addicting lately. And then after that, we went to the rooftop. This is actually his apartment building, and it has a really sick gym and a really sick pool area, so shout out him, and shout out New York for being so beautiful and awesome. Okay. Then I went back home, I had a late dinner. I was pretty hungry, so I made some quinoa. I just put one cup of quinoa with two cups of water and you let that boil. And then you just cover it for about 15 minutes. And then I also steamed some fresh organic broccoli, yum. And I just combined everything together, mixed it all up and added my favorite source of protein as a vegan, my favorite bean, chickpeas, yay, garbanzo beans, so, so yummy. You could stop here and just add soy sauce or whatever kind of sauce that you want. I added this one, it's vegan, so, so yummy. I love this brand, and I put about half of the container in there, and this was a lot of food. I don't know if it looks like a lot of food, but this was at least three to four or five servings. I ate most of it, but I was really full afterwards, so. It was really yummy. I had some left over and cue the slow motion zooms to get that food pour in action. Okay. Then I went to a coffee shop and got some kombucha while I did some work. I've been so obsessed with kombucha. And then when I got home, I had a late dinner of a spring mix with the leftover quinoa and chickpea mix. So yeah, super yummy. I also added some lemon juice. Um, sorry if this is a bit frightening. I look like a little bit of a raccoon right now because I haven't gotten sleep. I've gotten like four hours of sleep. Oh my god, it's so loud. <laughs> That's a little bit high. I've gotten like four hours of sleep in the past like three days, so I'm a little tired. I'm about to go for a walk. I don't know what the hell that was. About to go for a walk. I have to do so much stuff before I go to eForest on Wednesday, weekend one. Woohoo! I'm so excited, man. If you guys
you guys are wondering, I'm using the Glossier Mega Greens Galaxy Pack. This is cruelty free, vegan. Um, it's uh, exfoliating, so I really need that right now. It was so hot today. I was walking, sweating. I went to Washington Square Park. It was beautiful. Shout out to Kadeen for these cherry earrings. I'll try to link them down below. I, I love her, um, her jewelry. It's freaking dope. And I've been wanting cherry earrings like this, and I think they're so cute. I'm doing some spring cleaning. I'm doing some mental cleaning. I'm trying to rewrite my past and my future. I'm trying to clear everything out. I really like how empty it is in here. It's like honestly echoing. And so yeah, I'm just getting rid of the old, bringing in the new and it feels really good. Like it feels like an energy thing. Like I mentally, I feel like I'm letting go of actual baggage just by getting rid of actual clothes and um, just making things a lot simpler. My room is gonna have clothes in it again soon, but just right now, like my sheets are white, my pillow is white. I put away like all of my winter clothes and stuff. It's so hot. But yeah, so I have like really dark circles under my eyes and hopefully I can get some more sleep before I go to E-Force because I'm not really going to be wearing makeup there. And I don't want to look like a zombie, but also realistic under eye bag goals, right? Thank you guys for watching this video. I've been working out a lot and I just have really been liking to eat meals that keep me satisfied. I don't have to think about eating food for like five hours after I eat them, like three to five hours. I'm just satisfied and I don't have to worry about being hungry. My skin has been pretty clear and I've been drinking a lot of water, it's so hot. I bring my reusable water thing everywhere, which everyone should have one of those. There's no point in buying plastic water bottles all the time. You save money and time, and you help the planet when you use a reusable water container. Yeah, so I have to do all my laundry tonight, and I wanna edit this video. I've been filming on weekends, because during the week I've been pretty busy. So yeah, I have like three videos to edit on <laughs> Sunday night, and I wanna pack, and then I have one thing that I wanna film tomorrow after work, which I'm super excited about. I want to film more like spirituality videos, um, videos about mindfulness because I think that they would be very helpful and the things that I use in my life. So yeah, I think meditation video would be freaking dope. I'm gonna try to do that tomorrow. Thank you for watching this video. Reading is my passion and rom hams are my fashion. I can cook, I can clean, I can make you feel like a queen. Yeah, so anyways, I'm going to go. Thank you for watching. I'm about to go on a walk. I update on my bloating. Everything is still going great. I'm not taking the probiotics anymore, and I feel like I'm not bloated. I can eat, you know, normal food, and I'm not bloated. So that's really, really incredible. I still haven't really been eating processed sugar, but I've been eating more fruit, and I just feel great. Like, I feel balanced out finally, and I think soon enough, like... This will all just be a distant memory. My like whole bloating history will just be in the past for good. I love this time of day when the sun is setting and then the sky is really blue and it's twilight and the cool night air starts to come in. I just love it so much. So I'm going to go and I hope you guys have an amazing time, day, night, evening, morning, afternoon, whatever y'all are doing. I just want to say have a good one. Have an amazing one. And don't forget... You have no idea what is right around the corner. I mean, oh my god. If you only knew. If I only knew, we would probably have so much more hope and excitement. But like, there are so many opportunities and possibilities that we can't even think of. And I just keep, I just have this feeling that things are going to be so much better than I could have ever imagined. And I just feel the happiness and joy that is yet to come. And just thinking about the fact that I will feel that makes me feel it in the moment. It makes me feel at peace. And so I just kind of want to share that with you because there is so much to be happy about and that's all I've been focusing on. Even though I've had like a lot of breakdowns lately, I just snap out of them really quickly lately just because I'm like, damn, the sun is shining. Shit. So, <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye. <laughs> Thank you.